Guys, oh my god, it's been a while since I've made a video. So, today we are talking about the HQ because it needs to be blimmin' finished. It really does. I mean, we've got the shelves project that needs to be finished. The only thing that's holding that back is the printer. Now, I'm going to, the, with the videos that I'm going to be mentioning in this video, I'll be linking in the description. If you want to go check them out, I'd really appreciate it. So if you don't know, if you know, then you've been following me for a while. The printer has been down for weeks. I may have a solution. Are we still recording? Sorry, I'm using this new app that I wasn't sure if I was recording still. Uh, what was I? Yeah, so the printer has been down for a few weeks. I'll save that for another video. Now the HQ. The things that the shelves were still waiting on. The master poster we're still waiting on. And this bad boy we're still waiting on. The master bumper. What's holding that back is doing the stripes. And yes, I'm breathless from just walking. I know, I'm, I'm really unfit. I'm getting back into the routine of uh, working out again because I need to. Now the massive poster we were working on in the last video of the HQ. I have thought of an idea that's going to completely change the look of the poster. Now I've changed this countless times over the last year. Um, it did not used to look like this so if you remember there's no point in probably showing this video because it's very old. Um, it's only about seven months old. I made poster collection part five, which was the start of the journey of this massive poster. Poster collection part 20 was the finale of the massive poster. And it's been changed since then throughout. So this is... I'm not going to say this is a final change because knowing me I'll probably change it in the future but most likely this change is going to be staying for a while. I am thinking about adding a bit of texture to the face of the um, poster by adding these polystyrene kind of like stepping stones so there'll be pictures glued on to the polystyrene. Um, and yeah, still got a lot of work to do in the HQ. Now the HQ itself, the design, is very good. Um, once we've got the shelves all done for the cars, the, um, if you didn't check out my TikTok, I have a whole explanation on why the cars aren't there. It's very emotional for me to even talk about at the moment because I'm currently going through. I'm not putting them away completely. They're not going away completely. I'm not giving up on the hobby. In case you're wondering, I'm not giving it up completely. It's just a difficult time I'm going through. I cannot have them out. I'm getting into the deep. Anyway, so the HQ, we have shelves. As you know from a previous video that I have been working on design wise, these were the failed attempts. But I think I have a final design. I think I have a final design that I want to show you real quick. It's so good to be filming the guys. Now this video is going to be no working on projects. This is technically just an update video of everything that's happening. Uh, because it's been roughly about three weeks now. So if I bring up the shelves, tinker this. So this is the shelves design here. Right here. Look at that. Now, these shelves, this design is going to be used quite a few times. So it's that design is going to go all the way along the, the wall here and they're going to be replacing these shelves as well. Going from this part of the wall all the way maybe to this line. 
And then this wall section is going to uh, host 1 to 64 scale model cars um, and casings that are going to be screwed onto the wall. That's where the massive bumper is going to be, right up there. And I am moving, this is not cars, this is just a, for a personal hobby. Um, I am going to be moving the Lego drawers up slightly. See where this one is? I'm going to move that one to the same level as that one on this side right here. And then from this level all the way to here, there's going to be sugar. <laughs> there's going to be even more shelves there. Mostly because I want to build a Lego City kind of um, scene on the shelves. And they're going to be the same along here too. Um, so, yeah, there's still a lot of work to do. In terms of the lighting, I have an idea. I want to get a hexagon light for... A single hexagon bar light going along the side of the, the, out, the skirts of this light here, which will be replacing that light once we get to that stage. Now, if you remember, the LED strips idea didn't work out mostly because I bought cheap ones that weren't really good, to be honest. So I've been doing research on LED strips trying to figure out what ones are the best ones to buy that are durable, that are not paper-like material. Because if you look here, they're very papery-like material. So I'll need to buy slightly more expensive ones um, so that it's, they can last longer. Um, that are going to be going all the way around the skirt boards. Like, that is still going to be there. And I just thought about putting LED strips along the top too, all the way around the room, to make it film, film suitable. If that makes any sense. Anyway, just a quick update video. There will be more videos coming out in the next few days. Because I'm just getting back into the routine and I'm so excited to be finally back into the routine of making videos. Gosh, I've been bored, to be honest with you. Guys, I'll see you in the next one.